Okay. Want to hear me rant? It's always fun to hear somebody rant, right? So, I make a decision to stop at McDonald's because I'm on my way somewhere um, and I figure, eh, I'll just grab McDonald's instead of going home and making food or whatever. So, I don't ever go to McDonald's anymore. A lot of the reason is uh, I felt like since COVID, the quantity of what used to be is no longer. And I think we're finding that with a lot of products. I think a lot of things are staying, like they're changing the shape of the bottle to make it still look like it's holding, say, 12 ounces, but actually it only holds 10 or 8. And, you know, so the little deceptions going on with actually not only the quantity of the product, but also raising the price of a product that's less than what you were used to receiving. So I noticed that with McDonald's and I noticed that with like the size of their burgers and stuff. So I had stopped going there for that reason. Another reason that I would say kind of turned me off about McDonald's and I think other places are using the kiosks too, but the come in, help yourself, you know, like the self order thing. I'm like, man, they really are starting to disconnect from their customers. They're really trying to just be a fit, like, like a vending machine, if you think about it. So, I really stopped going to McDonald's. I really never found um, any real reason to continue to patronize a business that seems to be trying to, like, shut out their customers other than taking their money. Um, so, today, when I stopped at this one in Maryland, uh, there was a pre-recorded voice and usually the pre-recorded ones are asking like, you know, do you want to try our such and such for whatever, you know, it's like kind of a promotional pre-recorded thing offering you like the two for one deals or, or try a new sandwich that they have or whatever. So my automatic response is no, thank you. So it was asking if I wanted to use my online app. So I said, no, thank you. I don't know if the woman that actually takes my order hears me say that or if it just by saying no thank you it automatically clicks you to um, a live person but they don't know what you said anyway. I don't know. But based on her attitude, either she hates her job or me saying no thank you to using my online app was annoying to her or, or just my odd answer for what it was because if it was like two for one deal do you want that no thank you makes sense but are you going to use your online app doesn't necessarily require a no thank you response but anyway i'm reading way into that but trust me the whole rant is just i have to get it out of my head <laughs> um so she's very rude the real voice very rude I often, like, I order a drink. She's no size. It's like, I can barely even hear her anyway. So, like, I just guessed that that's what she said. So, I just said medium. <laughs> um, so, now it's time to go, you know, leave the kiosk and go pay. I'm in the drive through So, I drive around the building. And the first window I come to. Now, I'm not the first person or the only person that's ever experienced when the window's closed and, and like, covered it means go to the next window well this particular mcdonald's has like an advertising wrap on the window but this wrap completely blocks off their view well maybe not their view of me but my view of them for sure right it's like that wrap that you would see on the back windows of vans and stuff i think they can see out but you can't see in um so she may be able to see me i don't see her I see just advertisement in a window that's closed, so I gently drove past, but not so far as to have my entire vehicle pass the window, and the window flies open like I'm committing some kind of crime, so of course I back back up, nobody was behind me. She could not have been nastier looking. And I'm going to have to go by her look more than any words she spoke because she didn't really speak any words. I don't even think she even told me how much. I think she just put out her hand. 
Um, and then I, uh, I'm trying to pass it on the car. I don't even know why I did that because I was already exceeding the speed limit anyway. Um, so she takes my money and with whatever speed it has, the window kind of slams shut again. And I wait, and I wait, and then she pops open the window again, hands out my money, and gives me this look. Like, like I was the worst thing that happened to her today. Then, I finish paying, so now it's time to go to the next window, which also has this wrap stuff on it. And I'm looking, I can't see in. They probably see me, and I'm like looking like, hello? Am I, I'm looking ahead to see if there's another window I was supposed to go to. So they completely are disconnecting themselves from their customer base completely. Between the, when you're inside, they want you to order on one of those online ordering, or you know, like those ordering kiosks. They really want nothing to do with you. Like you get a number and then they call, call out your number and you go up and you grab your bag that they've just left there. They don't even like wait to tell you to have a nice day. They just call your number, drop your bag and walk away. I've, this had, this was something I was already experiencing in New York if I went to McDonald's. So this isn't like down South. This is across the board from what I've experienced. So I sit at this other window, just sitting there. Nobody's open to even to acknowledge me. Nobody's even opened it to say, you know, we'll be with you in a second. We're still getting your stuff together. Nothing. Just sitting there in a window that I can't tell if I'm at the right window. There's no evidence whatsoever. The only thing that, that left me sitting there was there wasn't any evidence that I was being told to move forward. The kid answer, he opens the window finally. And I will say he did say, have a nice day. Um... And I would even go as far as saying it didn't sound as programmed as if, which she didn't, but as if that lady had said it would have definitely been a programmed part of her day. But I'm so disappointed between phones and now, you know, and even like restaurants now, but they have the little, you know, little kiosk thing where they want you to just pay at your table. They don't even want to come back. And do the final service. They want you to just swipe your card there at the table and have a nice day. You know, like it always bothered me when a when a waiter or waitress would ask me if I want change, if I want my change. Like, finish finish your job, and I'll definitely give you a tip. But it always bothered me when people would ask if I wanted my change. Like, they didn't, they didn't want to bother having to come back to your table. Like, you didn't have the decency to leave them all of your money or, you know, give them exactly what you wanted to give them. I don't know. I, I think things have changed in such a negative way. To me, this is such a negative change in our society and our social grooming. This is such a negative change. And I'm not about it. I'm not about it. Like... You know, like self-checkout and stuff. I don't mind that, you know. But if you're, I guess it's supposed to be a restaurant. I mean, I get it. McDonald's isn't really like, a, you know, your dine-in type of restaurant. But they still have a dining room. People do still go in. But I don't know. I'm not, I'm not into the, I don't know if it's, if it's supposed to be for efficiency or speed or what, but I mean, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm surprised that even restaurants haven't like had you sit down, place your order without a waiter or waitress and then wait for a number to be called and you go get your food from the kitchen. Like that's next. That's next. Crazy. Like we are disconnecting ourselves from the human experience. It's awful. It's awful. That's my rant.